David reached out to me. Um, he's a fan. He said he wants to uh, propose to his lady tonight, and he asked me uh, if you know we can organize it and set it up, right? Yes, sir. And we what we talked in the email is um, we want to make it look like a like a surprise to him. So organic. So we're gonna figure out like um, where you're gonna be sitting. Yeah. Maybe towards the end of the show, I'll do some crowd work. Be like, yo, like something like um. How, you know, how long you been in a relationship for, big dog? And then you're gonna say, how many years? 12 years. 12 years. And I'm gonna make fun of you. Oh, dog, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah. 12 years? What's taking so long? Yeah. You gotta propose. Yeah. And then you're gonna say something like what? All right, let's do it. Boom. I go, what? You, I say, you ready right now? Yeah, I'm ready right now. Boom, and then, yo, David, get your ass on stage. Okay. And then, and then you're gonna come on stage. I'll give you the microphone. And then, um, and what's your lady's name? Judith. Judith? Uh, maybe I, 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 Judith, like, what the fuck is up with your man? He ain't you fucking yeah. trying to propose. Like, what the fuck? He ain't, he ain't sh I feel like, Judith, we got to put pressure on him. Yeah. You know, we got to put some, we got, yo, Judith, would you like to see him propose tonight? And then we'll see what she says. Okay. And then the, the cool thing is you'll have the ring. Yeah. So she'll be like, like maybe she's going to think it's cute. But then, like, when you pull out that ring, she'll be like, oh, this is real. That'll so that, maybe that would be the surprise. Maybe that's That'll work, yeah. 12 years, bro, yes. So. 12 years, three kids. Three kids? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, when man I was broke, you know? Yeah. So doing now, you, now, now you got your stuff. Okay. If, if, in your dream case scenario, what do you want Martin and me to do? <laughs> Uh, I mean, David, we go back years, man. He's a good dude. Yeah, that'll work with me, yeah. too. Yeah, that'll work with me, too. Yeah, man. Man. Now, I can tell you already, I don't, you know, you're a good dude. You're very wholesome, so I don't got to lie. You know, you, you look like a good guy, so, you know, I think, um, now nah, we'll have some fun, man. That'll work with hey, me, man. Hey, man, congratulations, by thank the way, you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. No, thank deal, you, bro. man, for doing this on your show, man. Oh, bro, I'm happy to do it, man. It always helps when the guy I'm doing it for is a nice guy. Oh, so well, thank you for works. being a good dude. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you're not that's coming that's here like, yo, dog, I'm trying to marry my fucking nah, kid. Nah. You know? like, nah, nah, nah. It's like you, you, you seem like a respectable dude, so uh, thank you for being who you are. You're welcome, man. Yeah, man much love, baby. So I'll see you. Long-term relationship, five years, over five years? Ten, Ten years? Ten. Holy Twelve. fuck. Twelve? God damn. Twenty-three years? What the fuck? Y'all been dating for 15 years? You sound angry as fuck, dog. There you go. Anyone in the back? Oh shit, I hear 14 and 12. What's up, 12 years, big dog? What's your name? David, nice to meet you, bro. Who's your, what's your lady's name? Judith. Judith, Judith, what the fuck is going on with David? <laughs> does his dick work or nah? <laughs> do, Judith, you, are you, <laughs> Judith, you there? <laughs> you speechless right now. <laughs> After 12 years. What's going on, David? What happened? Why is it taking so long, big dog? We want to know here in Dallas. Do you love her? Then how come Judith ain't saying shit? <laughs> is she being quiet? She a little shy? All right, Judith, do you, Judith, do you love David? Is, is David a good man? Yeah? Is he, is he the one for you? Yeah. David, what's taking you so long, big dog? Yeah? Are you ready to are you ready to propose or nah? Yeah? Should we bring David on stage? Yo, bring that ass on stage, David. Come on. Twelve motherfucking years, bro. Let's see what David looks like, you know? Judith, don't be shy, Judith. Let's see, man. Dallas is where it happens, bro. Yo, keep it going for David one time, man. Oh, yeah, you can come this way, David. Come this way. Here's the stage, man. Yeah, bro. He's taking 12 years to walk to the stage. <laughs> this motherfucker just moves slow, naturally. He, he's, a, he's a slow... <laughs> he takes his time. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Nah, bro. But everybody, all the single ladies and men, like, take a note. This is what David came, he's walking the stage, he's taking his time. Look at this guy. Oh. 
<laughs> he's dragging Judy. Then Judy is like, all right, bitch, I'm coming. <laughs> now, yo, keep it going for Judy one time. Nice to meet you, Judy. Come this way. Wow. Nice to meet you, David. Very hell yeah, man. Fucking listen, man. I, I could tell by your voice you were you you love her. You have a lot of conviction. But 12 years is a long time, bro. It's been a while. So tell tell the crowd like how you feel about Judy. How'd you guys meet and like why is she the one for you? Oh man, she's always had my back. I love her to death. She she was there when I had nothing, and she's still here today. So. <laughs> Judith, uh, do, like, how do you feel about David? Do you think he's the one for you? I do. Um, he's a been very supportive, a great dad, and he's always had my back. That's a beautiful. You guys are an amazing couple, man. I wish you guys the best. David, uh, is there anything you want to say to Judith right now? <laughs> What's up, baby? Let's keep this going. What do you say, mamacita? Will you marry me? <laughs> Yo, that's a beautiful ass ring, Judith. Yo. Yo, David romantic as fuck, bro. He's been emailing me every day for the past two months. <laughs> Yo, keep it going for David and Judith one time, bro. Congratulations, man. I wish you guys the best, man. Group hug. I feel like I'm about to get married again, dog. Go have a seat, man. Is there anything you want to say to David? He has really surprised me this time. He's not that romantic, okay, but wow, like. Homie tucked in his shirt and everything for this, dog. So he's not a romantic usually, huh? Uh, no, he, he struggles with that, but I mean, I'm like, dang, okay. Because <laughs> you didn't expect that. You thought I was like, gonna roast him and make fun of him? Yes, I thought, well, like, okay, this is just a joke. You, you know, like. Shut up. Don't yeah. Like, yeah. Roast us. Shut up, don't say nothing. She's gonna roast us. <laughs> you better get married, bitch. <laughs> Yo, give it over, do it one time, and David, bro. Yes! Oh, man, that was fucking romantic, bro. Yeah, man, homie's been emailing me left and right, bro. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up, I got you. I'm not gonna lie, the whole time I was telling jokes, I'm like, I gotta fucking get out of there. I was nervous, I was like, yo. I was like, I was like, uh, I was like how long is your relationship? Motherfuckers are 23 years, 12. I'm like, God damn, that's longer than him. <laughs> I know they don't got no fucking rings. <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're ruining the moment. <laughs> oh, man. That was beautiful, man. I was, uh, if it's okay with you, David, I'm gonna share a few things that you said, you know, because I, I, I was curious. He came backstage and because I wanted to see what he looks like because I wasn't sure what he looked like and stuff because we were emailing. But he came, you know, like I said, he had the shit tucked in and he came very proper and I was like, yo, dog, like, you know, what took so long? He's like, well, you know, like when we met, like I wasn't financially there and, you know, we got a few kids and I wanted to wait till like, you know, I'm in a financial situation stable enough to provide and get her what she deserves. And that made me very emotional. I was like, yo, dog, like, and he's like, thank you so much for, for doing this for me, Martin. I'm like, no, bro, like, thank you for being who you are and being a good dude because you make my job easier. When you're a good fucking dude, that shit looks beautiful. So thank you to David. <laughs> Yeah, man. Wholesome ass motherfucker, bro. Yeah, and so like, you know, I like to, um, I like to promote like uh, good, healthy relationships. You know, uh, it's important for the community because um, I know there's a lot of single motherfuckers in here. And, and I will, I will, we're gonna get, we, 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 we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna get, we gonna get to that part. We're gonna get to that, I promise you, we're gonna get to the matchmaking, but you gotta listen to what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> You bitches don't listen. <laughs> There's a reason why I, I, I did that. I could have done that at the end of the show, but I wanted to do it in the middle so all you fucking heartbroken single people to see. Sometimes to find love, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be, you know, your, your shit has to be right too. 
You know, you don't want to get into something when you're not in a good place either. So, like, uh, like you know, and the truth is, like, I'm not blaming no one in here. Like, uh, sometimes in our community, we don't have a lot of role models when it comes to healthy relationships. I know I didn't. My parents, they divorced when, uh, when I was 11. My dad, he's been remarried three different times, so he's toxic. <laughs> And my mom, she's never been with another uh, man except for my dad, so like low-key, you know, she's a nerd, you know? I'm like, mom, you about to be 68, like go get some new dick, you know? <laughs> so now my mom, she says she wants to get back out there again and, and start dating, so now uh, she's on the dating ass for old people. Yeah. It's called Facebook. Uh, <laughs> yo, watch your parents on Facebook, man. When they poke each other, yo, they mean that shit. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know, I'm still learning how to be a good partner, a good husband, you know? I, uh, I'm not perfect. I recently learned that um, I'm not allowed to like other girls' pictures on Instagram. <laughs> you know? It's true, like my girl, she called me last week. She's like, yo, who the fuck was that bitch that you liked on Instagram? I'm like, baby, that was Michelle Obama. <laughs> I'm trying to support the movement. Like, fuck that bitch, I'm your first lady. I'm like, you right. Yeah, man. So, you know, listen, it's, it's, all, it's all about finding your right match, but you know, so I'm trying to, trying to put you on the game so you guys can have a healthy relationship in the future before, you know. So let's see, single people make some noise. <laughs> nice, man. Ladies, how long you been single for? Like a year and a half. A year and a half, and what about you? A long time. A long time. <laughs> and uh, ladies, what, is it hard to find a good man here in Dallas? Yeah. What, why, why is this hard? Why is it hard? Oh, they're liars? They can't commit? No, it just takes 12 years, that's it. <laughs> Give it 12 years, bro. Okay, so someone said they're liars, what else? They're short. They're okay. <laughs> Maybe your pussy attracts short guys. <laughs> okay, so okay, it's, they're short, they're liars. And then, okay. What else, uh, anything else? They're fuck boys? Okay, I have a, I have a feeling, nah, I feel like tonight we attracted a lot of good, wholesome guys, you know? I think there's a lot of good guys here tonight, man. I think, um, I wanna, I wanna see what the guys, any single guys here make some noise? See, you fucking bitches scared them. <laughs> you fucking toxic ass bitches. They're liars, they're short, they're ugly. <laughs> they ain't shit. All the guys are like, fuck, man. <laughs> Maybe I am ugly. <laughs> nah, Dallas, don't, don't listen to them, man. You guys are kings, man. Believe in yourself. I believe in you too, you know? So any, any, any single guys here looking for love, man? Trying to find their match? Okay, okay. Let's see, I see one dude in the back. Okay, I see one dude. What's, hey, what's your name, big dog in the back? Will. Will. Nice to meet you, Will. Uh, you wanna, how tall are you? 5'10"? 5'11", oh, oh. All right, Will, come on stage, big dog. Keep it going for Will one time. Let's go, let's see what Will looks like. Oh shit, homie just works here. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, if your drinks come out late, don't be surprised, all right? Nice to meet you, Will. I already know you're a hard worker, so. Um, what kind of girls are you into, Will? Uh. Sweet girls that look mean and girls with big dreams. Hey. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, when was your last relationship? Uh, about a year and a half ago. Nice, a year and a half ago. And are you ready to get into a, a committed relationship? I think so. Yeah? I think so. Are you ready to get back out there? And what's your background, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Hispanic, African-American, or sorry, not African. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, this dick is African-American. <laughs> Face Caucasian, <laughs> dick African American. Come and get my life. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, you funny as fuck, Will. <laughs> Will like ja ja ja. <laughs> no, you're good. no, okay. Hispanic, Native American, European. Nice, bro. Fucking cool, man. Yeah, man. Nah, it's cool. You're five eleven. The very yeah, fucking fire. All right, we got Will, and we got okay. Let's see. Any other single guys make some noise? Okay, homie right here. Yeah, what's your name, big dog? Dave? Dave? Okay, and uh, how long you been single for? Five years. Five years, and what do you, what do, you do for a living? <laughs> Machine mechanic, okay. And uh, how old are you? 45. 45, all right. We're, we're gonna circle back, we're gonna circle back. 
Nah, I, I, we're gonna get you some old pussy, don't worry. Anyone in the back? You said, I got a dude in the back? What's your, what's your name? What, what's his name? Ruben. How long you been single for, Ruben? Okay, and what's your background? I'm Hispanic, I just moved out here from Nebraska. Okay, how tall are you, Ruben? Should we see what Ruben looks like? Yeah. Come on, Ruben. Bring your fucking five eight ass over. All right. So we got a we, we got a fucking uh, we got a white Latino Native American, a Latino from Nebraska. Any other guys? Single guys? This one? That's good. Yeah, you're single. Yeah. And uh, what's your name? Max. Nice to meet you, bro. How long you been single for? Two years. Okay. Oh shit, let's, what's up, big dog? Yeah, you look like you're from Nebraska too. Yeah. <laughs> nice, bro. You're 5'8? I am 5'8. Oh, no, nah, you're tall, man. Okay, show the show, Yeah, show the hair, show the hair. I don't I don't want I don't want you to surprise no bitches with a hat on, you know? I can take the hat off, he got a big ass like, you know. Now nah, you're good looking. Come over here, man. Come over here. All right. Let's see, we got a Latino, a white miscellaneous. <laughs> I'm trying to give you girls variety. Like we're like Baskin and Robbins, we got all the flavors. All right, let's see, anyone, any other single guys? Yeah, that way, white, white dude? Yeah, how long you been single for, sir? Two years. Two years, and how, how old are you? 26. 20, you look fucking. <laughs> you look terrible. <laughs> God damn, you look worse than the 45 year old, God damn. We're gonna circle back, we're gonna circle back, we're gonna circle back. We're gonna go around the block a few times. We'll come back. We'll come back to you. If we need a white in an emergency, we'll, we'll hire you. <laughs> okay, okay. Where, where else? In the back? Anyone else? Okay, what's your name? Who? Gustavo? How, how tall are you, Gustavo? <laughs> the, the little engine that could. <laughs> God damn. Motherfuckers are getting shorter and shorter as the show progresses, bro. I know, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. You made the, you made the cut. I know, yeah, I know. You 5'8", I think, is a, is a fucking... I, I'll ask the girls, is 5'4", okay with you girls? Yeah. Yeah, the Latina's like, it's too small. All right, well, fuck. Any, any other Latinos over 5'7", make some noise? Yeah? Okay, okay, what's your name, big dog? Max, all right, come on stage, so let's see you. Let's see what you look like. Come on, Max. Move, move it, move it, move it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got shit to do. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're long, okay. Yeah. All right, let's get, get in the, come in the light, show the girls your faces. All right, turn around, show the girls what you got. All right. Josh, cover your eyes. Let's see, any other single dudes here? Where? Who? Bring the five four dude up. Yeah. Bring the five four up. All right, motherfuckers. But if you reject him, that's on you, motherfuckers. That's on his self esteem too. I'm trying to save these dudes from fucking rejection. All right, five four. They want to see you, Gustavo. Come on. Come on, Gustavo. Let's go! Oh yeah, I like this guy. He, he walks with authority. <laughs> yeah, let's see what Gustavo looks like. Ooh, he got to walk. This guy, he got confidence. I like that shit. Okay, Gustavo. Let's go, Goose. All right, let's go. Do it, baby. Nice to meet you, Gustavo. Yo, keep it going for Gustavo one time. Yeah, bro. Guys, scoot down a little bit. Scoot down. All right, ladies, we got four options so far. Gustavo, uh, where are you from and what do you do, Big Duck? Uh, I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm a plumber. Or what do you mean? Hey, uh, I'm a, yeah. Bro, you got a guy that wants to fuck you over there. <laughs> plumber, let's do this, bro. <laughs> fuck yeah, bro. Hell yeah, man. How long you been single for, Gustavo? Uh, probably like two years. Okay. Or something like that. Gustavo, now that I see you, you look like a nice guy. You know, I like this guy. He seems like he's a very wholesome guy, you know, and uh, you're ready to be in a committed relationship if you find the right girl? 
Uh, yes, sir. That's right, man. And uh, Gustavo, what do you look for in a lady? Like, what's your most important thing at the top? I feel like, nah. <laughs> Uh, it don't matter, you know, it could be tall, short, uh, but honestly, for like a loyal, yes. loyalty is my first priority, and then we got to have a connection, too. Good connection. Okay. Right. He said loyalty and connection. I like this guy, man. He's got, he's got corazón. He got heart, bro. All right, man. What about you, big dog? What, what's your name? What do you do? And where are you from? Uh, my name's Max. I'm from California, and I'm a cook. Oh, um, 19. Oh! Got some young dick on the stage. I feel like a <laughs> ladies don't look at him. It's a crime. <laughs> uh, have you been in a relationship before? Yeah. Okay, you're not a virgin, right? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's a safe space, guys. Hey, Max. <laughs> and um, have you dated a Latino before? Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Easy. That guy really likes you, bro. <laughs> Nice, bro. Okay, and uh, what do you do right now? What's your What's your job? Uh, I'm a cook. You're a cook. Nice. Where do you, Where do you, What do you Where do you cook? Uh, anything. No, no, no. I'm saying, but where? 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 <laughs> the Dickies Arena. Where? The Dickies Arena. Dickies Arena. Y'all know where that is? Okay, okay, okay. I, I already know where you work, big dog. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what do you look for in a girl, big dog? Um, looking for uh, big dreams. I'm looking for a big heart, and I'm looking for loyalty. I like that answer, man. Keep it going for my guy one time. Keep it going. Yes. And what about you, sir? You are, you are, man, you look like a good dude and you're a sleeper, man. I think uh, I underestimated you, bro. You're from, you, you moved here from Nebraska? Yes, about two years ago. Okay, and what do you do out here in Dallas? I'm actually a supervisor right now at Best Buy, but I'm currently going to school for sports and recreational management. Trying to become a coach of some kind. Oh yeah, eventually. Oh yeah. Did you, uh, did you play any sports? Oh yeah, I was big football. Baseball was my thing. Baseball all the way. So. Uh, he's an athlete. He's an athlete. This guy. And how, and how long you been single for? Uh, two years since I moved out here. Okay, so you're looking for a lady that maybe show you around the Dallas, you know, area? Okay. All right, tell me your name one more time. Ruben. Ruben. I like Ruben a lot. All right, single ladies. Uh, any, any girls interested in Ruben, make some noise. All right, we got some single ladies over here. All right, what's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine? Yasmine. Yasmine. Nice to meet you, Yasmine. You like, you like Ruben, Ruben's vibes? Yeah, he's an athlete, athletic dude. A lot of endurance. She's a softball star. D1. Oh, you play softball? D1. Yeah, I mean, get your sporty ass out here. Yeah. All right, guys, if you don't mind, move, move back a little bit, guys, over here. Let make some. And then we got, we got Yasmin. Is there any other single ladies? What's your name? Nice to meet you, Yasmin. Keep it going for Yasmin one time, guys. Ruben, just have his stand right here. What's your name? Sing. Come on stage, come on stage. And stop drinking. Uh, all right. Oh, they're already vibing, man. You bitches better hurry up. Yasmin's about to steal your fucking man, bro. Any other single girls? Okay, where? What's your name? Sandra, you wanna come on stage, Sandra? Come on stage, Sandra. Nice to meet you, what's your name? Anna, keep it going for Anna one time. Anna, Anna, come here. Stand right here. There you go. Ruben, stand right here. Yasmin, you can stand right there. We got one more coming to the stage, right? Where's she at? There he goes. What's it? Okay. Oh, wow. Tell me your name. Cassandra. Yo, keep it going for Cassandra one time. I think here, Cassandra, don't be shy. You can stand right there. We got room for one more. Last, last call for Dick, for Ruben. I see one going once. In the back, I see some passion. What's your name? Sandra? Anna? All right, come on stage, drunk ass. Keep it going for Ruben. Ooh, now we... Competition's heating up for Ruben from Nebraska. Jasmine got her master's. Ooh. Three uh, degrees. Has three she has three degrees? Wow. Your girls are really hyping you up. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Jana. 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 Nice. Yo, keep it going for Jana one time, guys. All right, we're going to keep it from here. Jana, tell us uh, what do you do and, um, you know, and, and where do you live? Um, I used to live in Chicago, and now I live in Dallas. Um, I work with dogs. Okay. Wait, what do you do with dogs? Um, I work at a boarding daycare facility. 
It's okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's some white shit. All right. <laughs> nah, that's very, you seem like a sweet girl. And um, have you ever dated a Latino before? I have not. Okay. Very nice. And um, what do you look for in a guy? Um, loyalty. A little toxic. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. Someone just be straight up with me. You know. Yeah. Just be loyal. Like a, like a straight shooter type yeah. of guy. Yeah. Okay. And what's your idea of a romantic first date? I don't know. Not to the bar. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Just, I do play volleyball. Okay. Damn, all these bitches are like in real sports. Like, I play. <laughs> I like that, though. Okay, that's very nice. And so, uh, you know, he's new to the Dallas area, so he doesn't know too many spots. That's why I was trying to get your okay, ideas. Yeah, yeah. And then tell me your name and where you from. I'm Cassandra, and I'm from Dallas. Nice. Okay. And what do you, uh, Cassandra, like, what do you look for in a guy? Just loyalty. Oh. Mm -hmm. A lot of hurt bitches on stage. <laughs> it's okay, Cassandra. Uh, Cassandra, what's your idea of a, of a romantic first date? <laughs> Damn, Dallas girls been mistreated their whole lives, bro. <laughs> Y'all hurt out here, bro. You don't have any. You don't have any preference on where you want to go or nothing like that. <laughs> so you want the men to decide and figure it out, huh? Okay, Cassandra. Okay, and tell me what's your name and where you from? Yasmin, and I'm from El Paso, Texas. <laughs> and uh, what kind of qualities do you look for in a guy? Uh, I think financially stable, mature, and just like that's it, really honestly. <laughs> and what's your idea of a romantic first date? Um, I like to go to the bar, but I feel I like spring training. I like baseball. I like to do that. Yeah. I guess they said that uh, you have a master's degree. Yes, I graduated June. Okay. <laughs> and uh, did you play sports in college? They said I played Division One softball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Okay. And do so? Do you do you, you're looking for an athletic type of dude? Not really, I think that that idea left a long time ago. So <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> All right, so that's not the most important thing. It's just loyalty and hard. Stable, goals, ambition. Goals, ambition, all that. Okay, all right, all right. Yo, keep it going for Yasmin one time. <laughs> tell me where you, uh, tell me your name and where you from? My name is Anna. I'm from Abilene, <laughs> Abilene, Texas. And what do you do, Anna? I'm an accountant. Woo! Yeah. And so uh, when, when you saw Ruben, you were feeling his vibe? He's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. <laughs> I'm like a five foot seven slice of heaven. You know what? I'm oh, Anna, a little smooth talker. I like that. And what's your idea of a romantic first date? A romantic first date is probably like pasta, just like dinner. I can always eat. I can always eat. Yeah. All right, Ruben, you got four beautiful, uh, you know, candidates. Is there any um, any questions you want to ask these ladies? You know, any you want to get to know any of them in particular a little bit more? I mean, I'm big on family. I All my family's back in Nebraska, so I don't really have anybody. So, I mean, I'm down for the barbecues, for just a movie night. I'm, I want it all, so I'm, yep. Wow, this guy's a wholesome-ass motherfucker, bro. All right. Is there any girls that you hear, you know, you heard all of them, their ideas, their little background, but if there's any questions you want to ask them a little bit more to get to know them, or, you, or do you have a, an idea of who you like to take on a first date? I mean, I have a bit of an idea for sure. I don't, I don't know quite yet. I don't have any questions at the moment, though, I'll be honest. Catch, catch me off guard. Okay, okay, okay. So you, don't, you know who, you're, who, you, who are you vibing with right now? Honestly, both of these beautiful ladies next to me. So Yasmin and Anna. Okay, ladies, thank you so much. He's gonna, we're gonna uh, thank you so much for coming on stage. Uh, you guys, okay, you on him? Okay, we'll come back. Yeah, we're gonna circle back, you guys. I like that. I'm coming back for double takes, yeah. All right, so we're down to Yasmin and Anna. Anna, do you have any questions for Ruben? He's vibing with you, he likes your vibe, and he likes Yasmin. If you had any more questions you wanna ask, he just moved here from Nebraska two years ago. Do you have any questions for him? What's your favorite play, like, Thing about Dallas, like what do you like about Texas? Like I said, I'm a big sports guy, so I've been talking to like the Frisco Rough Riders. I've been wanting to get out there for a minute, so it's all the sports really. The food, haven't found any authentic Mexican food in the Dallas area, so if you have any ideas, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, all right, that was a good question. And what about you, Yasmi? Do you have any questions for uh, Ruben? What does your carne asadas look like when you go to your barbecues and stuff in Nebraska? In Nebraska? Yeah. Honestly, pretty close to the same thing as here. Yeah. I say, I mean, I walk in since I was 18. I mean, my, my dad knew. He's like, popped open a beer. You ain't going nowhere. Here you go. So 
it's all family all the time, so. You fit right oh, yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> That's your family? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Wow, she got the fam family oriented right there, bro. All right, bro. So you have no questions for Anna or Yasmin? So not at the moment, no. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough decision. I think kind of has me, I'm be honest. Yeah. All right. Anna, thank you so much for coming on stage. Oh, uh, uh, that was very nice. Keep it going for Anna one time, guys. Here we go, guys. Ruben, step right here. Please, Yasmin, step right here. Yasmin, step right here. Let the cold crowd crowd. you guys think? You think they're a good match? Oh, they look good, bro. Yeah, yes! Bra, 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 bra. Yo, keep it going for Ruben and Jasmine one time. Yes! Have a seat, man. Aw, oh, they're so fucking sweet, man. Wholesome as fuck. Y'all boring. Get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> Okay, that was romantic though. I was like, it was very nice, man. I liked Ruben a lot. I could tell he was a good dude, man. All right, on to these guys, man. We got, we got. Oh, we had a, we had a, we had one girl. She was feeling who? Was she, she was feeling you, huh? That one girl, yeah. All right, come this way, bro, because I already know you got one. She liked them young. She like, she pointed you out too, bro. I don't know. You got the riz. You got the the braces, riz. I, it's kind of cool, man. You're a cute guy, though. You're like, you know, there's something about you. You look like you're nervous, but I feel like when you, when you, I don't know. I don't know, something about this guy. He's nice. So, um, and tell me your name one more time. My name is Max. Max. All right, any other single girls interested in Max? Make some noise. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, you're Autumn and that's Cassandra? And Aut who wants him? Cassandra, come on, Cassandra, come on stage. She's coming back for you, Max. She wanted you, she wanted to claim you. Yo, keep it going for Cassandra on time. Cassandra, 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 Cassandra. Come on, Cassandra. C come claim this 19-year-old dick. <laughs> yes, man. Cassandra, what'd you like about Max? What do you like about his vibe? He's just cute. He's cute, right? Yeah, man. Aw, that's very nice, bro. And uh, I think, uh, where would you want to take her on a first date, big dog? Mm, I have to get to know her first. He's like, I have to get my parents' permission, but then <laughs> after I do that, I think it's okay. That's very cute. Is there any other single girls uh, interested in Max? Make some noise. <laughs> All right, but you don't gotta say fucking no. Just say nothing. Get the fuck. Did I hear any girls over here? Can you drive? I got my license. He got his license. There we go. All right, Cassandra, step right here. Max, are you feeling Cassandra? Yeah, you like her? What do you like about Cassandra, big dog? She's pretty. She's pretty? No, that's, he's cute. Look at them, bro. They're fucking adorable. Crowd, what do you think, man? Do you think they should go? Yeah? She's 21? Yeah, man, she could teach him. She could buy him beer. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yes or no? Nah, it's, it's, I think uh, Cassandra's, uh, she's, you know, she can make her own decisions. 19 in Dallas, Texas is, he's old enough, right? Right, he can make his own decision. Yeah? He's a, he's a, he's a baby? So what, he's supposed to, who's he supposed to date? Like a fucking 16 year old, what do you want? <laughs> who's he supposed to date? 21's not bad, is 21 the crowd? Is 21 bad or no? <laughs> I think it's good, right? Y'all yeah. some cock blocking bitches. <laughs> All right, man, let's do it, man. Beso, 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 be oh, yes! Yo, keep it going for Max and Cassandra one time, man, wow! Yo, man, all right, man, get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> okay, big dog, step right up, man. Yeah, man, the little engine that could, well, yo, this guy, this guy, I like this guy, he's a sleeper. He's got vibes, this guy, man. And I like, he, you know, 
He's ready to commit, man. Tell me your name one more time. Uh, Gustavo. Gustavo. And st- Gustavo, where do you live again? Uh, Dallas, Texas. You live in Dallas, Texas. And you got a car? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Single ladies, make some noise for Gustavo one time. That dude, who the fuck is that? Yo, that one dude, he's loving you, bro. What's your name? Yeah. What is it? Vianney. Vianney? Vianney. 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 Do you want to come on stage, Vianney? I'm six foot, though. You're six foot? Yo, you could carry this motherfucker. Come on, come on stage, come on stage. Come on. Vianney. Vianney. Come on, come on up. Let's go. Come on, Goosey, come here. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, Gustavo, what do you think? Uh, yeah, she's, she's really beautiful. It's just, she's tall, you know? Yeah. Uh, what you think, big dog? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think, uh, you know, if the, let's add, let's, you know, let's get to know her. Let's see her personality. You know, see what she likes, you know? And uh, cause I know you, you seem like a, you're a good dude. This guy is very loyal, wholesome. He's ready to be in a, in a, in a really relationship. So we want to know if you're, if you're serious too about Gustavo. We don't know if this is like your kinky shit. You know, don't, don't do no kinky shit to Gustavo. He's a good guy, okay? What kind of guys do you typically like? Um, I normally go for people that are taller than me, but I mean, he's different, so why not? Yeah, you damn right he's fucking different. <laughs> So, um, personality-wise, like, uh, what, 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 what's your ideal guy, personality-wise? Um, just someone that's nice and funny. I'm, I'm not really picky. <laughs> and, uh, and, what, and what do you do right now? What's your job? Um, I'm a cook. I, I, I am, like, a attorney, not attorney, a, like, a apprentice. To okay. Cook. And uh, where, are, are, you, are you training somewhere locally? Um, yeah, it's like a local business, but I'm not really supposed to say where, but yeah. Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, fucking. Okay, so, um, and then uh, when was your last relationship? Um, when or how was it? Yeah, like when, when, when was it? Oh, <laughs> about a year ago. Okay, and so you're ready to get back out there and be in a serious relationship? Okay. And Goose, do you have any uh, questions for her? Um, where, where are you from again? Okay. I'm, I'm from Fort Worth. You're from where? I'm from like here, Texas, Fort Worth. Oh. And your family? Where's your family? My family is from Mexico. So. Okay. Where, Goose, where are you from? Uh, I'm from here, but my family's from Mexico too. Okay, okay, okay. Fire, man. What do you think, Goosey? Like, do you do you have any um? Do you have any questions for her? I, she seems like a nice girl. She's she's wants to. She's a cook. She's studying to become a chef, a chef type of. I think I don't know. I think I think it's romantic. What do you guys think? Yeah. Let's ask Goose. Goose, are you attracted to her? Do you think she's pretty? Yeah. 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 And what do you and what do you like about what do you like about Goose? Um, he has a nice smile. <laughs> she likes she likes your smile. You, you like her smile too? Yeah, I do. <laughs> hey Goose, come stand over here, bro. Please have stand next to Goose right here. What do you guys think? Y'all know what to do, man. <laughs> Yo! Keep it going for Goose one time. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> Yo, don't need to emasculate my man Goose, bro. He a good dude. All right, big dog. So like, um, you know, you've been patient this whole time, bro. You're a good dude. You know, he's he, my man here. Tell me your name again. Will. Will is ready. He wants to get back there. What happened? Oh, shit. Oh, they're getting out. <laughs> Sorry, Will, they're having a moment. <laughs> that shit was romantic, bro. All right, man, we listen. We're down to our last candidate. Ladies, last call for dick. It's that time of the show, you know? 
Yeah. Will, you know, he's a uh, Will. He's got big dreams. He's got big goals in life, and uh, you know, he's ready to be in a committed relationship. If any girls here in Dallas, Texas, are interested in Will, make some noise right now. Yeah. Nice. What's your name? I'm Haley. Haley. Nice to meet you, Haley. Do you want to come on stage and say hi to Will? Yeah. Keep it going for Haley one time. Wow, very pretty, man. Nice to meet you, Haley. Thank you, Haley. Yeah, man. <laughs> Haley, uh, tell us where you're from and uh, like, what do you do? Um, I'm in school right now for speech pathology, so <laughs> shout out to you. And I'm from Dallas. Nice. And uh, when it comes to like, uh, guys, what kind of guys do you like? Um, well, unfortunately, I have the habit of going for guys who don't like me back. <laughs> but I just want a guy who is... I want a guy who's loyal and someone who's funny and just easygoing and confident, yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. And Will, are you vibing with her right now? I'm vibing with it, I can work with it. And what, and, and, and what, do, you, what, and what, what do you like about Will? All right, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Let, it's her decision. It's let her decide. Let her decide. What do you like about, what do you like about Will? You seem confident, and um, you have nice eyes. Okay, she likes. She thinks he, you know, he's confident. And she likes his eyes. I think, um, you know, what's your idea of a romantic first date? Um, I'm a big nature junkie, so anything outdoors would be fun. <laughs> nice, bro. So like, yeah, do, do you fuck with outdoors, bro? Oh yeah, I love the outdoors. Camping's amazing. Fire, bro. I feel like. Uh, there's some, I don't know. You know, like, uh, you, 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 you ever be at the party and it's like, um, and it's like, it's like the, it's like, everyone gotta get the fuck out. And it's like, you gotta, you gotta find like the last per I feel like this is, uh, I think, how, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 22. Okay. All right. You're young. And how old are you, Will? 21. 21. Okay, so they're both babies. This is a, 21 and 22 is an age where it's all about learning and experiencing things. And I think like if they were go on a hike or go on a like you know go on a little outdoors thing, they, you can get to know each other and grow. And you know maybe yeah maybe they can find something. Hey, you know because they're young, they're uncomfortable right now. It takes a lot of confidence to come on stage in front of this many people. So keep it going for both of them. I'm not gonna make them uh, kiss unless they're uncomfortable. But if you guys wanna, if you guys are vibing with them, are you are you vibing with Will? Yeah. Okay. Beso, 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 be. Oh! Wow! Okay, Will. Okay, Will. Yes. <laughs> Yo, congratulations, man. You guys, I wish you guys the best, man. Thank you, man. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, man. Homie flex after that kiss, bro. All right, man. Go back to work, Will. <laughs> People choose me to, to propose um, at my show is uh, is an honor, and uh, I wish uh, I wish uh, David and Judith a very long marriage, filled with love and happiness. Congratulations. Con mucho amor. Oh, con mucho amor. amor. Wow, that's beautiful.